In this video, we're going to go ahead and grab NIFSCOPE 2.0 Pre-Alpha 4 from John WD7. We're going to go ahead and grab this so we can work with NIF files. So go ahead and below the video in the description, click the link for the NIFSCOPE 2.0 Pre-Alpha 4. And we want to, you'll get to this page, you can click jump to download section and that'll pop you down to the bottom of the page. Well, it's supposed to for some reason. Mine is not working. Close those tabs. And I'll just scroll down to the bottom and I'm just going to go ahead and click this zip file. So go ahead and click that and I'm going to say open with and we got to grab all of these and put them in a directory somewhere. So I'm going to minimize my browser. Go ahead and open up your Fallout 4 modding folder, the same one that we use to extract our archives. Or you can really, you can put this anywhere on your hard drive. It doesn't matter. I want to create a folder here. I'm going to call this one NIFSCOPE. So I'll create a folder. I'll call it NIF scope and I'm going to double click that. I'm going to select all the files in here and just drag them and drop them. Now what we want to do is associate our Fallout 4 NIF files with this nifscope.exe and to do that I'll just go to the previous directory select meshes. I will go to actors, bloat fly, why not, and we'll choose the bloatflymeat.nif. Right, and I'm just going to right click on this and I'm going to say open with and I'll say choose another app. Now always make sure that you have this box checked when you're doing this otherwise it will not continue to open with that. Sorry I should have mentioned that in a previous video but anyways make sure you have that box checked. And then we're going to go down to more apps because you might not see it at the top and say look for another app on this PC. I will go find that folder. So I'll go to our Fallout 40 mod toots find our NIF scope, open that up, and I'll choose this right here and say open. Now it should go ahead and open this meat, and you'll see a chunk of bloat fly meat. Mm, yummy. So I'll go ahead and close that down. So now these should all have a little icon next to them. If they don't, try to hit refresh, see if they're there, or just double click another one to see if it automatically opens. Right? If it does, that's good. Now you might not see the textures. It'll just look white for you. What you have to do to set that up is just go into options. I'm going to go to, I thought it was options. Yeah, options, settings, and we want to go to resources here. And as you see, I have several resource files. All you do is you click add a folder, right? And I can go into this Fallout 4 Mod Toots, and I can just choose this right here. And this is all I really need. So I'll go ahead and select this folder, and it should go ahead and set up. So this will, you could also set textures. You can, and I can go ahead and remove all the other ones. I'll just remove those to make sure that that worked. Click apply, and you should see your textures right here. So that's all you have to do is go to that Fallout 4 mod to, this will be the root directory for the textures. So it'll be slash textures, and you'll see your texture folder, and just add that right there. And that's all you have to do there. And I can close that out and go to file, quit, and open up another one. And now you should be able to see your textures and stuff, so it'll all look correct. So in the next video, what we're going to do is extract your own personal custom body that you'll be using to create your custom outfits with. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.